Hey everyone, Dan Anochko Bushcraft. Well, welcome to part two of my 72 hour bug out. I just finished a vehicle load out for you guys and I'm gonna set up my tent, get my campsite set up. I got a little fire pit down here. It's one that I made a long time ago. I'm gonna dig it out, add a few more rocks and I'm gonna have a fire going uh, a good part of the night, more of a security fire than anything else. But as far as location goes, I have a tree here and a tree here. So I'm between two trees so that I can string a tarp over the top of my tent. If any type of storm comes in, I'll put my tarp up over the tent and that will give me a dry area to work underneath and still be outside and not be, um, you know, kept inside the tent. And then my fire is right down here. The wind direction is blowing that way. So I put myself um, upwind of where my fire is going to be. It's only about 10 yards from me. And my truck's right here. And I'm deliberately putting my tent up close to my truck. Because if something happens, like I said, I'll be following the news. And if I need to get out of this area or it's okay to go back home, my gear is right here. 10 feet to my truck, throw everything in the back, and I'm out of here. So just logistics in uh, thinking about how you're going to set everything up. So best sport. I bought this last year. It uh, weighs about five pounds. It's a two-person tent designed for backpacking, although it's a little heavy. But it is a four-season rated tent. Um, costs, I think think around 80 bucks on Amazon 80 to 100 depending on the color Let, let's set this thing up So I've got stakes and my shot cord and pole and everything in here. And I'm not going to worry about throwing that uh, other piece, that ground tarp down underneath this. This looks pretty good. A lot of pine needles. Get my pole out. I saved the plastic and everything when I bought it. So it just made it easier to put everything back away. And this thing, basically just two holes, shot cord. Attaches together. And then the tent has these little grommets. So I can just put one in in each corner. Sometimes easier said than done. First one's up, this other one up. Again, this is going to give me nice protection from mosquitoes and 
ants and everything else where if I was just doing my tarp, I would get very little sleep tonight unless I set up my hammock, but it's also going to get down right around freezing tonight. So having my big bag down in here and throwing the um, cover up over the top of the tent, it's gonna keep me warm. This one here. And just clip everything on the pole. And uh, let me pause you guys and lower you down a little bit. So what's cool about this tent, I really like is there's a door on both sides. So if you do put two people in here, you don't have to climb over the other person. You each have your own door. The other thing I like is the bottom half is a bathtub bottom. So it's gonna protect from um, wet ground and things down here. But the entire upper half of this is nothing but screen so if it's a warm summer night i can look right up at the stars you know off at it whether it's 45 degree angle straight overhead or whatever this is all screen So it's actually, for one person, it's super roomy because I can bring all three of my packs in here, food in here, put my big pad in here, my sleeping bag in here, and I got lots of room. And again, uh, I can look up at that night sky, and that's what I intend on doing, looking up at that night sky and seeing the stars. So it's a really nice setup. It's got a little net you can hang gear from in the ceiling it's got corner pockets it's got a hook right here hanging from the ceiling to where i'll clip that lamp on so i use one lamp overhead and one lamp for reading and i'll have my flashlight in here and uh be set up so i'll get my sleeping bag and pad and everything in here shortly and I have stakes that it comes with. However, I have found from using it last year, no matter how high the wind is, if I'm in it, <laughs> it ain't going anywhere. Not only that, but that big sleeping bag I got weighs like six pounds and the mattress. And then I got a backpack or stuff in here. There's 30, 40 pounds of weight in here. It ain't going anywhere. But I want to show you guys, I want to put this on so you can see this because this is really cool. It gives like a little, um, area bivy area or an awning out in both the front and back to store gear and there's multiple ways to set it up and it just goes over and snaps on the corners so 
if it started to rain in the night, I can put this up super quick. Or if I get cold, so I'll show you guys for now. It also has vents in it so that there's air flow will come in. Forgot to snap one of my sides on here. And last one right here. Okay, so that gives me rain protection and there's places all around to tie guy out lines so you can if you feel that you need to do more there's places to stake it down there's places to tie it out I mean it's it's built to endure some really bad storms but I like so I got my cords here I can pull this out and I and I will do that later as I use this and stake this down and it gives me an area to put my boots and other gear that might be wet that I don't want to drag in the tent underneath we'll just uh, stake one side down right now just to show you guys Velcro tabs and a zipper. So I've got one side pulled back so that you can see that there's this big area here. So if I want to have one side open to see out or for ventilation, I can do that on both the front and the back. Or I could open the entire front and leave the back closed, vice versa. But if I stake this out all the way around, I've got a vestibule basically in the front and the back. So if there's two people, we have places for wet clothing, wet boots and stuff. Zip this down, stake the other side. Our gear stays dry. We stay, stay dry. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like this and uh, take you guys for a little walk over here. So this is the area around me. So I've got my tent right here. There's that, you can see all that room up under there, and that'll be on both sides. My vehicle right here. I will put the gear, my extra gear that I'm not using back in the truck with a tarp, ready to go over it. If it rains tonight, so everything stays dry. And right down here, so my tent's here. Right here, I've got an old fire pit 
that I made a few years ago. Okay guys, if you can, so my tent's right here, my truck's right here. The wind's blowing down away from the t um, truck and away from the tent. So I'm gonna expand this, I'm gonna get my shovel. I'm gonna make this a little bit longer, put some more rocks around it. Uh, the ground's pretty damp, it's been raining out here. Uh, we've had thunder showers. But I wanna make this longer so I can throw in longer pieces of wood because tonight, I'm going to get a nice fire going that will burn a good part of the night as a security fire. There's been a bear in here tearing stuff up, and uh, I'd just rather have this fire going. I may, I may keep it going all night, part of the night at least. I've got the little chainsaw. I'm going to cut some big pieces of wood. So next video I come back, uh, probably be tonight as darkness is coming in and uh, we're doing dinner i'll set the table up and the little chair up try that table out for the very first time make me a spot to prep a meal tomorrow i'll build a tripod and some other things for camp um, tonight mostly i just want to get my tent set up get my gear all in order ready to be covered under a tarp if it rains tonight and uh Right now I'm going to grab a shovel, that's my next thing, dig this out, and then go start cutting firewood. That's going to take me some time to get some firewood in here. So we'll see you guys later this evening. Thanks for watching. Dan at Bushcraft.